Hey guys, what's up? This is Mr. Shumtastic here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to transfer 3D text, just like the one I have on the screen right now, just basic 3D text, or any kind of 3D text. Just make it as advanced as you want, but for today, just for example, I'm going to make it basic text. This is just a basic 3D text, and I'm going to transfer this from Cinema 4D onto a background like this on Photoshop, or on any kind of background, but just transfer it over to Photoshop in the best possible way. So most people, I'm going to show you the wrong way to do it, just, just because this is how most people would probably do it. They would go into a render settings and they would go JPEG. And uh, they would, this is the settings by the way, you want it on full render. You want the output to be 1280 by 720 and all this will be standard. Uh, just change those to 1280 by 720. This might be ticked on yours, so just uncheck that and then uh, use those settings. And then most people would go JPEG. And I'm just going to save this as tutorial one, and um, just for the sake of the tutorial, and yeah, that's how they would have it, and then they would exit with that, and then they would just render it out. So then they would come up to Photoshop, they would open up Photoshop, sorry, and then they would place it on their background, just like this here, and they would have a black background um, at the back of their 3D text. And uh, how they would get rid of that would be to go Magic Eraser or something like this. This is how I would usually do it and um, just click on that black background that would get the black background away but it would also take away the 3D on the S and the H because that was black like it was going back and the 3D was black so it would take it away as well just because it's taking away everything on like that was black took away the black background and the black 3D so that's not what you want guys and this is the best way to do it this is the best way I've found to do it so you're going to open up your Cinema 4D again you want to go to your render settings and you may have seen it there but what you want to do is, I'll just save this as Tutorial 2. And what you want to do is, you want to go PNG. And PNG, um, this might not be checked on your Alpha channel, but this needs to be checked. So check Alpha channel, check that little box, and uh, all the same settings, full render, uh, 1280 by 720 and all those will be standard, just like the last time. Um, then you want to have, this is PNG, and just save it to your desktop, just for the sake of it. Um, alpha channel must be checked. So you just want to exit with this and then just render this and I'll render and then what you want to do is you want to go into your Photoshop now and what you'll get is if you place it, if you go file place and then go to your desktop and then double check, double click on that and then there you go guys, you will have your complete 3D text without any like rough edges or anything like that as well so it's really nice. If this tutorial helped you out at all guys then please leave a like on the video and if you really liked it then give me a subscribe on my channel as well. That would be awesome, guys. Uh, thanks for checking this video out. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.